2017, the new Ocean Kayak Tridents came out. I thought a great way to promote it would be to go on a long distance tour. The plan was to paddle and fish Florida for a few months, then paddle and fish my way home to Virginia. This is the video from the tour, the good times, the bad times, everything from this tour, the Trident Fishing Tour. Morning from Manitaz. I did not um, make that run this morning. Kind of just gonna beach bum it today. Might fish a little bit, but for the most part, I'm gonna beach bum it today, save my energy. Today, Fort Matanzas, 1700s, I believe, Spanish Fort. That little thing is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Man, that is just a little, little fort. I mean, that's a little, little building. Mm, imagine being that thing and a cannon hitting that thing. Jesus. I'm curious what all these little pits are in here. Almost looks like musket shots. That's all sand. That's all shell stone. Look at that. They made these bricks. I wonder if there's a musket shot on there. That's pretty interesting. Here comes some rain. It's the only little bit of straight sun today. I think this one's gonna get me. Rods are down, pants on, rain jacket ready. I'm pretty sure that's gonna get me. Even from Palm Valley Sport Island area. Made it, that was a good long day, but it got rained on for the most part of it. Um, at the Spoil Island here, um almost i'm right close to the bridge at palm valley and that's setting me up for the run to um uh st john's river tomorrow yeah jim miller lives out here and he told me about this spot it's a great spot because that's it's i mean they got a picnic table out here <laughs> they got a big picnic table out here but it's a cool spot but uh yeah yeah he told me about this spot and um and another spot that like tomorrow right there at st john's so it it it's a 20 mile stretch and I was kind of worried about whether or not I was gonna get to Amelia. And I, I probably won't get to Amelia Island because of the way the tides are. So that spot's really helped me out. So, so thank you, Jim. Good time, brother. <laughs> Morning from Palm Valley. I am uh, waiting out the rain. Just a little bit of a storm coming right now so I can, I, I've got time to wait this one out. This morning when I started out, I had that long stretch, 10 mile stretch of just canal. And then I came to the first bridge and I started picking up speed. Second bridge south from St. John's, if you guys have not paddled this area, uh, the second time I've gone through there and I didn't videotape it this, this, this time because again, a boat was coming through it. Um, when I came through the first time, a boat came through and I had to go off to the side, but it just happens to be a boat was coming through, but it's, it, narrows down and all this water is going through it and it's a legit rapid it it you can see it dropping down the actual water drops down uh visually like comes down a couple inches um uh, as you come up on it. it it's it's something else um i wish i videotaped it but I, you know there's no way to turn around or stop i couldn't even stop to slow down because this guy was having a hard time going against the current to get up to it um because it's rapids <laughs> it's, it's crazy it's a wild it's a wild current so once once i got the canal it's clear um, until I, I came to St. John's. Cut across, did a good crossing, and as I cut across, I got a south wind too, so then I was a little bit angled, a little bit better, and I'll um, um, uh, get right to the intercoastal. Um, 
instead of going to that beach, I went inside the intercoastal to look at the uh, Sisters Islands is what I was looking at in Sisters Creek, uh, where the intercoastal goes through. And once I got in there, I started looking at the islands, I, you know, got up and started walking around, cut my foot up, <laughs> scratched my foot up because my foot been wet all, you know, all day. So I, I get up and I'm looking at all these things. And as I'm doing all this, I realize I have current with me. <laughs> so, and I also have south wind. So I got a good south wind and current with me. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna keep going. Cause I know at the end of the intercoastal, there's a spot I could camp out. I saw that on Google and I could see that was a good spoil island. It had a beach and all that stuff. I'm, so that's where I'm going tomorrow. But as, so I kept on going. As I got up, I'm, I'm about four miles from that. Um, I hit a head current here. So luckily this was right here and, and that you know, the head current didn't, didn't, didn't uh, matter because I, I landed and that storm was coming, but that storm fizzled out. So it wasn't that, that I didn't get blasted. I set up the tent way back here in the, in the, in the you know, protected a little bit. Yeah, so check out this island. Those things are getting pretty good. So that's the intercoastal north going that way. Tide's about another hour from being high, I think. Um, looks like about four foot tides, maybe a bit. I'm getting to the five foot tides here. So like, here's a, just a big spoil island. And uh, so this has uh, been used a lot, so it's good. All right, I'm gonna look at the radar again and see what the fuck that's got in store for me. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Now, oh, all I have to do tomorrow is go to the end of the intercoastal here. Uh, I have to go four miles or uh, I go out to Amelia Island, camp on the south end, probably just camp there so I can get set up for the next day to get um, in and, uh, and around uh, Amelia Island and get to the north end. So that's the plan. I don't have to go far tomorrow, um, but I, I'm going to catch this outgoing and work it on out. Good morning, y'all. All right, so it's blowing north east at 100 miles an hour right now. <laughs> When these cold fronts gonna stop? This is the whole reason why I'm getting back before September, is to miss these cold fronts. But I get, I've been nonstop getting them for three months. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but at least they're not gonna last that long, right? As, as when they get into the summer like this, they don't last that long. If we're in summer, I don't even feel like we're in summer yet. Um, but tomorrow it's gonna be lightened up, and I can go. So the, I'm not in any like hurry or stress or anything like that. All I have to do is go. Uh, to the end of here which is like three miles away um, I'm gonna take the outgoing current still coming in right now it's uh, it's about high uh, but um what time is it it's about high so it's uh yeah it's almost high it's eight it's oh eight fifty um, and then I'll just take that out to the end of the intercoastal on this on this in this, in this creek and then tomorrow I'll take the income in in around Amelia Island get to Fort Clinch just but it's just fucking windy and rainy. So I didn't think it was, I didn't think it was gonna be blowing 30 out here. I, I'm gonna get cold and I gotta get my tent up with no protection. Ah, this is sketchy as shit. That was an ordeal. I did not expect the wind to be blowing 30 miles an hour. As soon as I got on the water, it was 30 miles an hour in my fucking face. The only thing that was saving me was the wind was, I mean, the, the current was with me. Um, the, and the current was real strong. Now, it, it's another one of those things where you can't stop paddling. You, as soon as you put your paddle in, that's the only time you've got forward momentum because if you stop paddling, the wind stops you and then pushes you back. So it, it was immediately, you know, as soon as I got the paddle in, I, I could creep forward. It took uh, about an hour and a half to go maybe uh, two miles. Um, and the, when I came around the corner, the winds were directly down the intercoastal into it, and it was like two foot waves kicking up. Uh, so it it was that was that was tough. I wasn't expecting it to be blowing this hard, and and, and uh, it was kind of rainy too. But it, it wasn't a big deal. It was just misty rain, like a nor'easter rain. And so I uh, when I got uh, I came around the corner. And I got here. Now there was then I had I was going to get cold because it was still raining. And I had to get the tent up, so it, it was. I was really sketched out about to get the tent up. This thing was folded in for a while. It was really folded in. Got the guy lines and pulled it tight, so that worked. How about this? How about this for three days of rain? An evening like this for after three days of rain. It was a good day of chilling.
trying to dry out my uh, rain jackets. Bring two rain jackets because on days on situations like that where you have three days of rain, one of the jackets is going to be wet and it's good to kind of start off or, or at least have another one to start the, next, the third day off with. Yeah, it turned out nice, real nice. And I was, I was walking around here and I noticed the, there was kind of a big swell. There's kind of a swell going on. And when I got around to the front, I could see the ocean. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I can see the ocean and there's a big swell in the ocean right now. The ocean's pretty, pretty fucking angry. But this area has six foot tides. On the charts, we're doing six foot tides right now. Right, right before the full moon, I believe. I think full moon Saturday. Whoa. Oh man, that bitch looks full. At Fort Clinch. I just got here. Uh, Mom's gonna meet me here soon, so I made it. Um, real easy paddle this morning. Evening from Fort Clinch State Park. And this, you know, this is my last day in Florida, but this is this is you know environmentally, this is Georgia. You know, we're we're in Georgia now. Environmentally, this is this is the landscape of what I'm going to be messing with for the next week. Um, this is totally Georgia. Oh, look at deer! So coming in to my spot in the new tent, Amari Pass Three. Talk to you tomorrow. Trident Fishing Tour. Thank you. Ocean Kayak Yakutak.